My name is Richard Gadsden. I'm a lecturer in the uh, Centre for Excellence, uh, lecturer in statistics. And uh, one of the things that the Settle has been able to do is provide um, a one-to-one -one, um, supervision and advisory service uh, for students. It's aimed specifically at the postgraduate students and students doing dissertations in their final years. As well, um, there are postgraduate students on tour courses who are um, having dissertations over the summer and we do advise them as well. The, the, chain, the biggest change I think for the students is that uh, they do have somewhere where they can come and ask uh, an independent voice uh, about uh, the analysis that they're trying to carry out and they can, uh, they can access advice about statistical analysis uh, to ensure that they are carrying out the right sort of procedures. We've had uh, a wide variety of students coming to visit us, um, those that are nearing completion of PhDs through to those who are just starting PhDs. Um, we've had an awful lot of final year students uh, coming to see us and um, perhaps the, the area where we've had least students has been the postgraduate tour. Probably the reason for that is that um, it, almost inevitably that dissertation is over the summer, uh, we're not as accessible in the summer and they seem to work away from the university a lot, or that's the impression that we get. We still do get some of, uh, of the postgraduate taught students but nowhere near as many as, as we have uh, with uh, research students and with final year students. As far as the benefits for the students, um, I've already mentioned that uh, they, they have access to a statistician. But I think um, what we've noticed is that students are actually becoming more confident about what they do once they've talked with us about uh, the work that, that they're trying to carry out. Um, we have tried to encourage students to come and see us right at the beginning of their work, so when they're, they're, they're looking at their hypotheses um, so that we can advise them not just about the analysis that they might uh, use but also the, the data collection methods and indeed even the data that they may need. Looking to the future that's probably the area where we need to develop things further because we're seeing students more often than not when they've actually collected their data and we're then looking at what analysis they can carry out. In many cases they prepared well and the analysis that uh, they want to carry out they can do and we're able to tell them how to do that statistically and indeed sometimes they're just looking for reassurance they've worked out what they think they ought to do and they're able to do it. Um, however um, there are some students, and it's probably more true of the undergraduate final year students than anyone else, who haven't thought about what their data may or may not tell them, and indeed they haven't even thought particularly carefully about the data they collect. And they've come to us usually a week or so before their dissertation is due in, and the work that they've done um, really doesn't allow them to answer the questions that they want to answer. Um, and it, it's very difficult to tell them that really what they've got is useless. Um, we're, we're usually able to give them some fairly basic things that they can still do, but nowhere near what they would have been able to do if they'd come and seen us uh, right at the beginning. So, so certainly looking to the future, the, the area where we still need to work with uh, probably departments is to get them to engage their students with us uh, right at the beginning of their work. Uh, and as I said, that, that's particularly the final year dissertation students. Um, Postgraduate students doing research 
generally are better prepared, they come with more focused questions um, and we're able to advise them um, about the data they collect but some of the more um, complex techniques that they might use uh, to, to answer their questions.